back to another episode of A Jeep Come True. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take off your doors on a two-door, four-door Wrangler and Gladiator. The steps are going to be the exact same. The process is going to require just three tools and four easy steps. What's going on, man? Thank you, much. Appreciate you. Uh, always a good day to get cheap parts. Tune in next time and see what it is. Okay, so the three tools you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver to go ahead and pop the panels off. Also break loose the wiring harness that are attached from the door to the cluster itself. A socket with a T40. This actually usually comes in your Jeep bag already, so you don't have to worry about finding another one. And then thirdly, it's going to be a socket with a T50. This right here is going to go ahead and... Oh. Oh Somebody's showing up their new birthday present. Somebody had a birthday here. Who was it? Yan Yan. How old did you turn? Four. What did you get for your birthday? <laughs> Somebody try to run me over with their Jeep, huh? Somebody try to run me over with their Jeep? That's okay. Let's go ahead and finish this video. We'll take these doors off and then we'll take your doors off, okay? Okay, so the first step you're actually gonna see, it's actually indicated right here where it says T50 down here. Very, very simple to do. I've already pre-done the top one. So all you're gonna do is take your T50 in here. You're just gonna go ahead and loosen it the rest of the way and you're gonna take these little caps off right here, like so. There's one right there. So I also highly recommend, contingent on how thick your socket is, to go ahead and put a towel or something between the hinge itself and your door. Okay, so now that step one is complete, we're gonna move on to step two. I highly recommend, so you're gonna be removing your doors to put all your screws and bolts inside the door handle here. The second step, what you're gonna to wanna to do is turn the Jeep on and I recommend lowering your windows. That way when you're ready to go ahead and lift it up, you just grab this, push, and it's not gonna be too awkward. You're not gonna scratch up your tent or anything else like that. Okay, so you're gonna see the T40 screw right here. There's gonna be one in each of the doors. All you're gonna do is go ahead and take your T40 socket, go ahead and undo this. Once you've completely loosened the door hinge screw, you're just gonna pop it off like so. Again, put it inside your door handle here just to go ahead and make it simple. You're gonna notice the only thing that's left is the harness and door holder itself. You're gonna grab this, pull it towards you, pop it off. You're gonna go ahead and take that flathead screwdriver and you're gonna go ahead and press up on that red tab there to loosen this. Then right here where you're gonna see a little tiny sliver, I'm gonna put the screwdriver there, pry up on it. Then you're gonna use your finger, push up to release. Pull straight down on the harness here. Okay, then you're gonna see the little door latch right here on the locking mechanism for the metal part. You're just gonna pull this straight off like so. And is now step three on to the last and final step okay now for some the fourth step actually might be the hardest contingent on one how tall your Jeep is or two how short you are you're just gonna go ahead and lift the door here you're gonna turn this way grab right here where the top of the window frame is and lift up your door is now off you're gonna go ahead and set it in a safe place Then you're just gonna go ahead and repeat the steps. Well, one more time if you have a two door or three more times like myself if you have a four door. Let's make it quick. Okay guys, now that Lucifer has the doors off, there's just one more step we have to complete to be 100% trail ready. I personally prefer soft tops over hard tops, and the reason being, all you have to do is this. That's it. We're ready to roll, baby. 
Alrighty guys, as always, thank you so much for continuing to support our channel. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time on A Jeep Come True.